we all want to be consistent with reading we want to read a lot and we want to be called one of those people who are good at reading right but then what happens in reality is that some days we read a lot followed by days of nothing when we are not reading anything at all it happens yeah so i have a simple rule for you that you can follow in your daily life that can help you cure this problem of yours simple rule of reading one page a day okay just one page every single day and you're done see what will happen is that most of the times you will not be able to stop yourself at just one page why because there is interesting content then there are smart writers and then a flow of meaning established right when you start reading it develops certain curiosity as to what is going to lie ahead in the next page or the next following few pages right and that's how you do not stop at one page develop a good habit this good habit is going to substitute and take away the place of bad habit some bad habit something that you do not like about yourself when you have more time for something that you like doing or you like about yourself you will automatically have less time for something that you do not like about yourself see the idea is not to carry on after one page okay the idea is just to read one page if you develop curiosity you go on you read more but when you've already read one page of the book in a day your task is done you're done for the day see this way you will be able to keep yourself in touch of reading okay another thing is that since one page a day is such a small thing to do right so there's no load on your mind it's going to be easy and then thirdly it's going to help you a lot since there's this feeling you know that you don't want to break the chain you've been reading for 20 25 days now you don't want to break the chain on the 26th day right and that's how you you will automatically be led on the path of reading every single day and then one day eventually it is going to come up as a new habit you will feel that about yourself you will you you will actually feel something inside of you changing you will feel an inclination towards the book you will feel a certain loyalty towards the book i feel loyalty towards my books i have actually renovated my room i've got a new library in my room i'm going to fill it up with all my books and i'm going to buy all my books i like it in hard cover i'm going to buy the books and read them i already have a big 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 collection but i want to expand it further i'm going to show you my library in the coming few videos because right now the room is still not ready but anyway moving on as a reader myself i'm telling you that what happens is that once you're reading a fictional book you already have a target for the next kind of book you want to read like mine is a very simple fundamental i read a fictional then i read a non fiction then i go back to fiction and then again a non fiction that's how i keep myself entertained you will have you will develop your own patterns you will find out what kind of books you like more what kind of books you do not like what what i mean there's also a thing one more thing that i'd like to give you as a suggestion something that i even do for myself if you do not enjoy a book if you feel that you're not you are unable to carry on with a book it's becoming a burden for you you don't like it at all leave it move on to the next one i've done it in the past i've done it with socrates <laughs> i've actually done it with socrates i mean uh, it was a book written by plato about socrates as you know socrates did not write himself socrates books are written by plato and i could not complete the book it was so terribly boring i'm sorry for all the socrates fan and the plato fans i'm sorry i just could not develop interest i tried four times five times i picked up the book again and again i could not continue with it i had to leave it so it's okay to leave and to quit a book it's okay because the the idea is to be at reading you have to continue with reading okay the idea is not to finish a particular book or to finish a particular writer okay finish a particular writer okay coming back the idea is to continue with the habit of reading it does not matter what you read what matters is that you're reading that way what will happen is that um you won't know and you'll be done with so many books in a year you will be able to finish so many books in a year i know somebody who has been doing it for so many years he's read i don't know how many books and i feel so good about this guy for doing this to himself and the way i mean i see it in him that he thinks differently he thinks out of the box his thinking pattern is good and all of it is a dain it's a dain of books if you are smart if you are intelligent if you talk nicely if you talk smartly 
it is always a blessing of the good books you read. Most of the times, it's about what you read that comes out of your mouth. I've created a simple tracker for you that you could use. This is the link of the tracker. Go and make a copy of the tracker, okay? And I suggest you use it for the next 30 days at least. You wanna continue after 30 days? I'll be blessed, you'll be blessed. You'll thank me and I thank you in advance. Use this tracker, okay? Make a copy, save this link with yourself. Every day when you're done with one page of your book, just say yes to it. Just say that you've done it, the task is done and move on to the next day. Do it for 30 days, at least 30 days and see the magic happening for yourself. That's it for today's video. Thank you very much. I'll be back. If you found this one interesting, do make sure that you abide by it. And I'm not a preacher. I do it myself. See you soon. Bye.